Well, welcome back to part two of the SOAS. I'm never going to get used to saying that. Wing in a bag. That's easier. Um, so anyway, the idea is, first video I made the um, left wing. Today I'm going to be making the right wing, but we're using the left wing to make sure that we get everything lined up. So I'm just going to take you through the basic process as to how I actually got to where we are at the moment. Now, so in other words, same thing. Clean, angle, all your ribs, angle the slots for the trailing edge on the right hand side. So it's like I did with the first side, get everything ready to fit in, including your uh, the wing join, the dowel and everything. Get all those angles sorted. Get it all down as if you're just about to glue, then stop. And this okay. is what I did. So, right wing, we're gonna match it up to the left wing. What I've already done is, as with the first, the other side, I've cut my notches to the angles. I've put that down in place. I've cleaned up all my ribs just a little bit using a little, very small file. I've got them all in. Now, I have just nipped this up with a bit of super glue and I've nipped that one up with a bit of super glue and that one here just to hold it in place. I haven't glued anything across here at the moment. It just gives me a little bit of vertical, oh, sorry, up and down movement on there. So I've got all my ribs in place. I have my uh, cross tube joiner here and my wing locator here. I've put a little bit of blue tack just behind here. You could just use a pin. But you can guarantee as you're trying to shuffle that in, that's just going to get pushed back. So all we're going to do now is we're just gently going to just feed this in like so. Feed that in there like so. And then... There you go. Boom. One last thing. Just check. <clears throat> just check that you've got your uh, spaces right with your elevons, which mine is dog on. I'm dead chuffed with that now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what am I going to do? I'm just going to tack all my main ribs. I'm going with Sino. I'm going to use um, alphatic resin just to hold these in place, and then. Uh, just making sure that all the sheeting is right and it's all at the right angle but that really pleased with now I am just going to very very gently tack this here and tack this here because what I don't want to do is in fact what I might do is I might even just use a little bit of alphatic just to hold it in place and, and then at some stage I might just slide this wing off and then actually just go a bit heavy with the glue all I'm saying is what I don't want to do is accidentally glue this to that side so all I've done is I glued up exactly as described now what I've done just to be on the safe side I've re I've added the wing again and also I've added the fin just to make sure that everything fits together it's all hunky-dory so um, I've now glued all my uh, ribs um, I've done the interstitial ribs I've put the leading edge on because you've seen me do that already it's exactly the same process all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna finish off um, this sheeting and put the elevons on like we've done before and so that bit you don't really need to see me do I'm just gonna crack on and do that and then hopefully when this side is done we'll get back to finishing off aka we're going to do the tips we're going to just going to drop the fillets in and then we can start talking about electronics next top tip when you've got the left side of the wing i'm putting the right side batteries in so i know that works I'm now going to mark that so I know that that's got to go on the inside. I'm going to get my battery, at my magnet orientation absolutely correct. Okay, on the um, actual instructions, 
um, it actually only shows you um, that there like so but I do believe that that is supposed to go there like that because having looked at the original uh, well the pre-production version it's got both of those in so that's what I'm going with if it needs to go somewhere else I'll have to make another one so they're going in there and that's going to go onto there like that I favor just using three clamps on mine so great sound she's all sanded so the next step is we are going to cut out the elevons following that line so what I'm going to do is just get myself a steel rule down here and then um, just slowly just do it very very slowly and this section uh, as it says in the instructions is designed for the hinging to be on top so when I get to that little bit we'll talk about that because there's a little top tip there uh, for everybody so we got I'm just going to sort out the elevons then we're going to talk about gear installation and um, okay so I have got my elevons off top tip I would just I've marked mine with a tiny little blue bit of ink on this one so I don't get them confused um, other thing noting I would definitely say that if you're gluing the ribs in it's easier to cut out with alphatic glue or PVA glue than if you used super glue I found super glue on the left side remember I did that with super glue gluing these in it was harder to cut through not massively more but just something worth doing and or worth noting and also remember you've just got this little bit to cut here uh, so this is now uh, apparently the wing section is a PW1211 apparently that means that it's hinged from the bottom um, I've actually come up with an idea for some experiments for a later video which we will talk about but so basically what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to reverse chamfer this which I'm going to do so I'm obviously going to put a cut this away now little tip if you get yourself some masking tape my advice is have a go at when you're actually and I'm going to be using my uh, wood plane I'm just going to cut that angle if I think I've got the right angle I'm just going to pop that back in place what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some masking tape and actually hinge it from the bottom as it should be with masking tape just to make sure that I get all the movement okay there you go I've chamfered that edge onto the elevon all I've done is I've just whacked a little bit of uh, masking tape on the bottom and then uh, I'm just checking you can just see it's just a little bit tight I just need to take just a little wick more off of there and then that's ready to go going to do with the aim with the, uh, with the other side and then we're going to talk about installing the servos and what we're going to do in future right well we've done the elevons we now need to talk about radio gear because I want to get some things out the way then put them to one side while we um, paint and cover so the first thing is is this is the battery I'm using as recommended by Angel Wing Designs it's from Overlander again like Angel Wings I have no um, links to that company whatsoever this is an Eneloop it's an 800 milliamp hour battery um, it's a standard receiver pack um, I am there are some instructions about using this so uh, obviously the covering is going to come off so what I want to do is I'm just going to take the covering off of that I'm not installing it I'm just going to fit this make sure everything is happy and then I'm just going to put it to one side so there's your battery the servos I got from the component shop which I got on advice from Angel Wing Designs and these are a very slim servo and it is 
a King Max ready KM100 2MD and um, I've got two of those and what I'm the reason I've got these out now is because what you're going to need to do is going to need to cut some slots so where you are going to put your servo so you're going to have to feed the wire in all I'm going to do is get roughly where I want my servo to go and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the slots for the servo arm because the servo arm is going on top not underneath and then I'm literally just going to cut those holes and then again this is going to get put to one side and then we'll talk about got to this stage and you don't have uh, your gear this is some idea of what it is you're going to need and I am using a standard Futaba slim four channel standard Futaba um, receiver that's going to fit in here but we'll talk about that when we come to the actual fitting out ready for the test flight. Well that's the end of the basic structure of the SOS wing in a bag glider. Um, I've obviously done the chamfering for the elevons, I put the elevon control horns on I've just made sure that the battery fits. I've cut the slot, cut the slots for the servos. Um, so, episode three is going to be um, covering and installation, really, because um, you know, I just personal thing. I just don't want to make the videos go on and on and on and on and on. Um, so, anyway, episode three will be finishing off and installation, and uh, I'll see you very shortly.